Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this August 3rd, Thursday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, our Lord, last morning for wonderfully protecting us. Tell him thank you. How many of you understand? It is the Lord who led us. If so, lift your hand and give God the glory. Last morning, wonderfully, our Lord who led us. Tell him thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. With good health, he who protected us. Thank you. You who gave us the healing. Father, thank you. Amen. For God's grace for being with us. Thank you. Under his mighty arms for protecting us for his love. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the good sleep he gave us last night. Tell him thank you. To sleep peacefully, our Lord blessed us. It is the grace of God. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. With good health and happiness, the Lord who woke us up, it is his grace for that. Tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. This morning, Father, for victoriously leading us, we tell you thank you. Without our feet from hitting the rock father for commanding your angels to be around us father thank you father we're going out and they're coming in father for protecting us for the heavenly host coming down for us father thank you as per thy will for leading us today father thank you thank you jesus thank you lord thank you father we worship you father we praise you father we tell you thank you father thy name is about all other name father your name is about all other name so beautiful father we worship you we praise you and we thank you father for your love towards us thank you for your compassion upon us thank you for your grace upon us father thank you father in this beautiful morning father with thankfulness from our heart we worship you we praise you the psalmist is saying in psalms 3 verse number 2 3 and 4 says many are they who say of me there is no help for him in god but you o lord are a shield for me my glory and the one who lifts up my head can you lift your hand and say verse number 3 but you o lord are a shield for me my glory and the one who lifts up my head i cried to the lord with my voice and he heard me from his holy hill Hallelujah thank you Jesus I lay down and slept I awoke for the Lord sustained me verse number 8 salvation belongs to the Lord your blessing is upon your people let us pray together father for this blessed morning thank you abba father last morning for protecting us thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night thank you with good health for waking us up thank you abba father everyone who is hearing this voice today father we bless them in the name of jesus christ upon everyone let your grace prevail upon everyone let your peace be upon them let your rest be upon them heavenly peace heavenly rest in the name of jesus christ right now be upon your children we pray in the name of jesus christ father for those who are sick in the name of jesus be healed right now Amen you who have the authority over heaven and earth in the name of Jesus Christ complete healing let it be upon your children good health let it be upon your children complete peace and rest be upon your children those who are suffering from varicose vein this morning in the name of Jesus Christ be healed hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth be healed every pain in the body where you've got a pain lay your hand over there right now every pain in the body be healed pain in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus hallelujah where you want the healing today upon that lay your hand and pray heavenly father you who have the authority over heaven and earth in the name of jesus christ of nazareth where your children have kept their hand let your power prevail over the let miracle happen complete healing we declare it upon their body both internally and externally father thank you for the healing those who are going through financial difficulty deliver them for those who don't have job open way for them for those children who have not received admission at the right time let them receive the admission children who are in the age of marriage let marriages happen at the right time father we pray for newborn babies every newborn baby father visit them give them complete health long life from every discomfort let it be gone from their body oh father we pray 
those who are going to have the problem and difficulties. We give them into thy hands. Let your grace be with them. Father, thank you for hearing our prayer. Daddy, we bless everyone who is working for thy kingdom, both men and women. Father, we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, be a wall of protection around them and their family. Thank you, Father, for your mighty strong hand that is with your children who is toiling hard for thy kingdom. And we give you all the glory. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord God bless each one of your abundantly for his kingdom. Today, Father, we are going to meditate from the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 17. Pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. It is talking about the importance of prayer over here. Jesus Christ, when he was ministering in this world, said, Pray without ceasing. Continue praying. Here Paul the Apostle is saying, Pray without ceasing, without stopping. So, situations may arise that make you fed up in praying or make you to stop praying. So, we should be careful that such situations will not affect us. So, keep on praying. The Spirit of God is reminding us. So, dear children of God, many times we pray. Many things we pray. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes it becomes delayed. So, we become, we become desperate thinking, Oh, it's not happening. Will it be okay? Always remember, nothing in the presence of God that we offer goes in vain. If you are genuinely praying in the presence of God, that prayer of yours never goes in vain. For surely the answer to your prayer, the heavenly father will give it unto you. So for what is it that we have to do when the enemy tries to block your prayer, will make you desperate. How much ever we pray, there is no you. Such thoughts might come into our mind, but for no reason should you believe it. Prayer. Surely you will receive your answer for it. Once Joshua and his people was asked to walk around the Jericho wall seven times. Seven days, seven times they were supposed to walk. And on the seventh day they were supposed to walk seven times for one day. Then only will that wall be broken and fall down. But then when they walked the first day, there was no changes. Second day, no changes. Six days also they walked. There was no brokenness on the wall. There was no changes on the wall. It does not even look that anything would happen. But on the seventh day, when they walked seven times and they blew the trumpet and made a loud voice, the walls of Jericho came down. Dear ones, last six days when they walked, nothing had happened. They could have withdrawn. They could have thought nothing is going to happen. What foolishness are we doing? They could have just left it off. But on the seventh day, because they obliged to the word of God, because they were obedient, because they did not lose hope. And when they walked on the last seventh day at the seventh time and they blew the trumpet, that is when they saw the victory that which God had kept for them. So let your prayer keep going on. Surely the work of God would happen over there. So in faith, we should think, if till seven days, if they could do, walk around in a place that they could not even see what is going to happen or what is happening. But because they were faithful enough to do it, that is when they saw the victory. But there was something happening in the spiritual realm which they could not see. Only those in faith could see it. Only for those who have got spiritual eyes, faith eyes can see the spiritual realm of the, what is happening when we pray. So anything that we do, Dear children of God, makes it a miracle in the, or makes it a working material in the spiritual realm for things to be activated at the right time for God. Hallelujah. So because they did it is when they saw it, that miracle happening on the seventh day in the physical eyes, which they saw it. So six days, the work that was happening in the spiritual realm, the result of it was reflected on the seventh day, which they could see with their natural eyes. In the fifth day, there is nothing happening on the wall. If they could have said like that, and then they could have stopped it. But if they would have stopped, they would not have seen the miracle happening on the seventh day. No, never. So don't stop your prayer. Don't cease your prayer. If you are praying for your child, continue praying. If you are praying for the salvation of somebody, keep on praying. Don't stop. If you are praying for your nation, don't stop your prayer. Dear children of God, the moment you started your prayer, heavenly realms have been opened and is working on your prayer. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and give God the glory. So Satan will try his level best to stop you from praying. 
but you be strong on the seventh day if the wall of jericho could fall surely god's work will happen in my life we know when elisha prayed for the rain he told the young lad you go and look towards the sea and when he looked towards the sea there is nothing happening over there elisha is praying over there for the rain but then when the lad is going to look over there but there is nothing seeing over there the lad said no there's nothing and seven times the lad was sent to look if there is anything happened first time and second time third time fourth time fifth time nothing happened but on the seventh time the lad came with a new saying there i can see a small cloud like the hand of a man and then elijah said go and tell to ahab go faster so that the rain would not stop you hallelujah we know children of god after what happened a great outpour of rain came over there so for prayer don't stop it anything that is making a blockage to your prayer run away from it be be consistent in your prayer cease without praying surely for what you are praying for upon that god's miracle is surely going to happen because our god is a god who is alive jesus is alive he speaks he works for us and he is interceding for us and with these words and let the lord bless you the supernatural favor of god let it overflow in your life i pray in the name of jesus christ our children will prophesy our young men shall see visions and our old men shall dream dreams we are blessed we are really blessed we are permanently blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you god bless you today hallelujah